Welcome to another video from my cybersecurity channel. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at the top programming languages used in ethical hacking. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest video notifications whenever I release a new video. Before we delve into the top programming languages used for ethical hacking, let's first discuss how you can do ethical hacking without knowing too much about programming languages. One of the most common ways hackers can get access to systems is due to misconfiguration, where organizations leave important information in public view. As an example, I use PHP and the Laravel framework. Applications developed correctly using the framework are very secure, so it's difficult to hack. However, when the applications are installed, if they're installed incorrectly, then it's game over. I've seen many installations where the configuration file has been left in the public www folder and not in the folder below. The configuration file contains all the important credentials, like the database details, including passwords, any email accounts and passwords, to the details of credential used for any additional services, like AWS storage, for example. I have con contacted many organizations where I found issues like this with configurations in their online systems, and I've not had the skills in programming languages that they've used. But because I've known about the configuration files, because they are generally in clear text, I've been able to, to define that these files are left in a dangerous position and need to be rectified immediately. My advice to anyone wanting to get into ethical hacking is to not only understand the programming language you want to use, but also what the mistakes people can make in the configurations when applications are deployed that can lead to them being hacked. This will increase your knowledge and help you spot more weaknesses that could be exploited by hackers. So let's get started on the popular programming languages used for ethical hacking. Python is probably one of the most important programming languages used in ethical hacking today. Python has many advantages over other programming languages for ethical hacking. It's fairly easy to learn and it can do a lot with very little code. When I've tried Python before, I found that just with a few lines of code a lot can be done. I'm from the old school world of languages where so much code is needed to create programs, but with Python there's a lot of libraries available so you don't need to reinvent the wheel. It has enormous community support, so finding information on how to do ethical hacking in Python is readily available. Hackers like Python because it allows them to quickly create re reconnaissance programs to target different operating systems. Python is used to find vulnerabilities in systems, and because of its simple nature, prototyping is fairly rapid. Next is SQL. This is another language for ethical hacking. Its full name is Structured Query Language, and it's used to query databases for information. Without proper controls and validation, SQL makes it quite easy to hack into databases and steal not just database information, but also steal credentials like passwords. This type of attack is known as a SQL injection, and is one of the main ways hackers can get access to treasure troves of information. Next is C, another language for ethical hacking, and is a lot more difficult to learn than Python and SQL, as it's very low level. A lot of systems like Windows, Unix and Linux are built using C, so hackers with C skills can easily try to find weaknesses in these systems. C allows hackers to gain deeper access into systems, like into memory and system processes, once they have successfully managed to infiltrate a system. Next is JavaScript. And JavaScript's popularity across the web has increased with the development of Node.js, therefore it's also become popular for developing cross-site scripting attacks to attack systems. JavaScript is used to develop internet worms because this language is able to manipulate the browser DOM object with ease. As with both a server-side and client-side language, JavaScript attacks can take place at the front end, the browser, and at the back end where the server host in the application resides. JavaScript has been extensively used in adware attacks where unscrupulous adverts are created using JavaScript that when displayed can end up stealing the information in web browsers. Thanks for watching my video on the best programming languages used for ethical hacking. Want another difference between ethical hacking and cybersecurity? Check out my article. Link is in the description below. Please subscribe to get notified of my latest videos. Thank you for watching. Till the next time.